In this video, I'm going to show you how to sharpen using the high pass filter. Now, it's a technique I've started to use and adopted um, and moved away from the unsharpened mask just because I feel the results are a little bit better. So, first thing I need to do is duplicate this layer here, so the background layer. So I'm just going to duplicate it, and that is just because I don't want to touch this original layer, just so I can always go back. And then I need to convert this layer to a smart object. Now, what we're going to do to this object here is we are going to apply a high pass filter. So if I go into filters, then to other, and I'm going to go high pass. And now everything will go a lovely shade of grey. And you'll just be able to see the image coming through very slightly in there. Now if we adjust the radius all the way down to zero, the image disappears. The radius slider is just how much of that image is going to be sharpened and how much is coming through. So I'm going to put it just about on two pixels and then click OK. And now the mask and the unsharpened filter appears here at the bottom underneath our background copy layer. So what we need to do now is blend these two together because we can't print a picture that's lovely and grey. So there's a little sign here on the high pass filter, just the side of it, there's two little lines with arrows on. If we double click on that one, and then it opens a blend options menu for us. Now in here, the blend modes we are interested in is overlay, soft light, hard light, and linear light. And we can just select through these just very subtle differences in each of them and it, it will come down to personal preference on which we prefer and with each of these it is just adjusting the contrast levels of the picture for us and just making everything a little bit sharper on that mask now i'm going to select linear light i kind of like that one and it will give a really good demonstration of what this filter can do now if i zoom in on the picture We've applied the mask there, so we're effectively finished. However, I just want to show you what it is actually done. So if I turn off the layer with the sharpening on, the original picture looks pretty sharp. However, when I put the mask back on, you can just see the detail coming back in in the eyebrows, the eyelashes, and these hair details on his moustache here. It just really brings everything in, but it also does emphasize the um, the skin detail as well. So we could bring it down ever so slightly perhaps, but if you watch my video on how to edit using frequency separation so we can keep that detail in there but also smooth the skin at the same time, that'll give you a good, a good start of how we would go about touching up this image. But there is a sharpened image using the high pass filter. Oh, I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial and please have a look at the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel for more tricks and tips.